Okay, Sagittarius, so we are going to do the October 2023 reading, and how we're going to break it down is to do the career and finances, as well as love and relationships. And then on the bottom row here, we have just some general energy. Just take what resonates. This is for the collective of Sagittarius. So let's get the cards for the career and finances. So we have the three of wands, and it is paired with the nine of pentacles. Let's get them all out and then we'll see what they mean. And then we have the Eight of Wands along with the Star card, which could be an Aquarius. And then we have the Five of Cups along with the Two of Swords. So, all these cards together for finance and career. So let's see here. Um, Okay, so Sagittarius, there could be a period of loss, which is creating sorrow within you. And it could be related to having to make a tough decision here regarding your career or finances. This suggests for you to confront your feelings of indecisiveness and just make a choice. The star card here, which I said could be an Aquarius, it also is about healing and wishes coming true. So it could be healing is coming in when you move forward. Um, this is about progress, forward movement on the horizon, but you have to take action. So take advantage of any opportunities coming in without too much hesitation. You know, don't overthink it. Just make a decision, okay? And um, this also can be um, representing a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction, and it will be uh, like leading to financial independence. So realizing your endeavors and the fruits of your labor. Let's see what's coming up for your love and relationships in October. So we have the Queen of Wands paired with the King of Swords. We also have the World card and it is paired with the Hermit, two major arcanas here. And then we have the Lovers, another major arcana. And it's paired with the King of Cups. So, okay, let's get the astrology signs out first, the zodiac signs. Okay, so let's see here. So we have this, um, this Queen of Wands, which could be an Aries. The King of Swords could be Gemini. We have the Hermit, which could be Virgo. The Lovers, again, is another Gemini. And the King of Cups could be Pisces. It doesn't have to be, but that's what they stand for. I see here that there is a, there was or is a period of self-reflection and introspection, which made you more aligned and fulfilled. And it's an end of a spiritual journey, and it's based in love. So there is a harmonious and emotional union and partnership where two individuals are in touch with their emotions. It's a strong connection. It is deep emotional bond based on love, trust, and emotional understanding. It's a very supportive relationship, whether you're already starting it or it's coming in, because we are already into October, sometime this month. It's a union here with creative energy as well as intellectual power. There's a strong sense of purpose. So, um, again, it could be any of those signs possibly with you, Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, so Sagittarius, this is a significant change coming in here during the month of October. It's forward movement with the six and eight of uh, the cards, the tarot cards, the six and eight is sw with sw swift action. So it's forward momentum with swift action. You could be moving away from a stagnant or difficult situation. And I do see that there's an importance here on clear, open communication during this time. This can be either an actual physical move or it could be an internal shift in your mindset or the, someone's mindset. There is a time of celebration and joy here and there could be financial security as well as reaching a state of emotional contentment where you're gaining a new level of clarity and insight as well. Um, there is uh, this air though of um, an aspect of possible a celebration like being cautious or controlled but just be aware to you know manage your resources and remain open with communications I feel like that caution and control might be just from things that happened in the past you know things we've experienced and not wanting that rug rug pulled out from under us but if you don't get too much in your head you know overthinking things and you just manage your resources as well as remain open with communication I think you're gonna have a great October so that's going to do it for October's reading for you, Sagittarius. So thanks so much for watching, for coming to my channel. If you find that this resonates, please think of subscribing if you wish to do so. 
And so again, have a beautiful October and stay safe. Take care. Bye.